Get ready for an 80s extravaganza in honor of the Aloha Stadium Swap Meet and Marketplace. They're celebrating 45 years. Let's go to Chris Latronic, who's live in IAEA now with more. This is fun, Chris. Yes, it is, Bridget, and it's hard to believe this Aloha Stadium Swap Meet and Marketplace has been here for 45 years, back since 1979. You can look at the asphalt, but it wasn't changed at all. That's still here from a long time ago, but what also here, a lot of the great vendors that made this all possible. And this weekend, there's a big event that's happening, an 80s extravaganza happening on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., where you could uh, be a part of this golden ticket search for some of the 80s-style vendors, like this one right here. Uh, this is high Nisian apparel and the Owner Roscoe uh, good, uh, Kalili Kane, good morning to you, good morning. sir. Good morning. So this, yeah. so 45 years of the swap meet. You've been here for almost that long. How long have you been uh, doing business here at the Aloha Stadium swap meet? I've been here around 35 years. Just enjoying every day, four o'clock in the morning, and finish at five. Just creating and selling all day, all day. Yes. Um, all original designs, you know. And I always recommend people to come out here, start up your business and just enjoy these days and then just have fun in, at the Law Stadium and just exercise or whatever you can. But yeah, 35 years of hard work, but it's blessing right now. I'm blessed with it right now. Yes, yeah. and Roscoe, you have, through that time, what kind of changes have you seen from 35 years ago to what it is now? So I've been to three vendors. I've been to original guy, Maderis, to Signature, to uh, Center Plate. And the changes is basically not, is basically the same scenario it's just more vendors and more occupation of the swap meet and stuff like that. And more different items coming out and stuff like that. I just got to be more focused on just keep on creating. So my customers, my new customers, my old customers, just keep on being happy of what I create for them and stuff like that. And the other vendors out here too. Mm -hmm. And the thing yeah. about your products, you've been kind of evolving and making new products kind of all the yeah. time. So tell us a little bit about your business and some of the designs that you're here and selling and are pretty proud of. So, you know, I always do Polynesian stuff. I started off doing CDs, so most of the people, they know me for the music. <laughs> and if you know Swap Me, you knew me as music. I started off as music, reggae shirt. I was part of uh, one of my good friends, his name, Jay Love. He was, um, uh, um, I forgot what was the store, but he has a couple stores. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I ended up creating what I feel good about is Polynesian designs from Hawaiians, ended up to Samoans, ended up to Tongans, and ended up to Micronesians. Anything that deal with Polynesians, I came out with it. And I try to just make everybody smile with their culture and have fun and bless with about their culture and having fun. Okay, so now I remember the old vendor. So you used to have, I mean, almost just like this, but instead yeah. of the table full of shirts, you had some CDs, some mixed <laughs> CDs, mixed tapes, and you're blasting the music. That was you back in the day, right? I was blasting the music. I still known for the music. People still come out here. First thing they ask me, hey, Roscoe, you still got CDs on you? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I give it away now. But yeah, that's what I'm really known for during that time. Yes, yes, yes. And now everything has changed. Shirts has been great for me, and creating has been awesome for me and stuff like that. That's amazing. Yes. So where can we, we're going to find you right over here this Sunday. On Sunday, I'll be at Section 6 and Section uh, Section 12. I was known to have three stalls at the swap meet, three sections, but now I got two. On Wednesdays, I'm at... I'm here on section six, one stall, and then on Saturdays I'm at section three and section eleven. Okay. And then yeah. if we have, if the people are listening, they're uh, not here in Hawaii, where they could find your products? So I always have it online as my website, High Nijian Apparel, and uh, and then back to the Swami. And if it's an emergency, I have a, a warehouse in Kalihi on Umi Street, 755 Umi Street. Please don't come there, but only for emergencies if you need the product for go back to the islands, go back to the mainland and just enjoy my product. That's perfect. Roscoe, thank you for everything you do. Thank and you, last Mara. question, yeah. get any more CDs? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, that was back in the day. Uh, Roscoe, thank you so much. This is one of the many uh, 80s style vendors where you could come be a part of the golden ticket search where you could get some free prizes and many more promotions. That's happening this Sunday for the 80s extravaganza celebrating 45 years of the Aloha Stadium Swap Meet and Marketplace. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii live in IEA at the Swap Meet. Sending things back to you.